In this video, we're going to look at electrochemical cell notation. Uh, this is going to be a video that's going to teach you how to understand it, how to write it based on the chemical equation that we have shown here. So, um, this chemical equation here is going to be for zinc and copper, uh, but the same type of theory is going to work for any type of electrochemical reaction. So the first thing you want to do is look for the anode and the cathode. So these two terms are going to be um, indicating the site of oxidation and the site of, of reduction. So the anode is the site of oxidation. All right, so we're going to have to find out which one of these substances is getting oxidized, and that's going to be the anode. Then we're going to have the cathode and that's going to be the site of reduction. So you can remember this by um, by thinking of this uh, saying red cat and an ox. So that means reduction at the cathode, the anode is oxidation. So for this reaction here we have zinc that is going from zinc solid so that's going to be zinc solid going to zinc that is 2 plus and that indicates a loss of electrons in fact loss of two electrons and so as we know oxidation is losing reduction is gaining that's the oil rig so oxidation is losing so that means zinc is being oxidized so this is going to be oxidized now that means that zinc is going to be the anode so we're gonna write that down here so this is the anode so zinc is the anode that means that copper is going to go from copper 2 plus to copper solid and so that is a gain of two electrons and so that indicates that this is reduced and reduced would be the cathode. So once you figured out which is the anode and which is the cathode, the actual cell notation takes this form. Anode on the left by default, and then we've got a double line and then a cathode is going to be written on the right. These two lines that you see in the middle here that separate the anode and the cathode, these are referred to as a salt bridge. So these two lines right here are going to represent your, your salt bridge in the cell notation. We use a single line to represent a phase boundary. That means um, anything that has a solid, for example, and on one side and a aqueous on the other side. So that's going to be called a phase boundary. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down the reaction that happens at the anode on the left and then we're going to write down the reaction that happens at the cathode on the right. So the reaction that happens in this case is going to be that zinc is going to go from zinc solid to zinc aqueous and that's going to be zinc 2 plus and so that is the reaction that's going to happen and what we're going to do is because these are two different phases right here solid and aqueous we're actually just going to erase this um, we're going to erase this arrow and we're going to put a single line there all right, and that's going to be our phase boundary. So we've got zinc solid going to zinc aqueous. We got the line in between. That's our phase boundary. Now that's all that's happening at the anode. So we're going to write down um, our two lines that represent the salt bridge. And then we're going to put the reaction that occurs at the cathode. And that is going to be copper 2 plus aqueous goes to copper solid. And again, we look here and we have a 
uh, phase change. We have aqueous and we have solid. So we're just going to erase that arrow there and we're going to draw a line and that's going to be our phase boundary. Now, so this is our cell no this is the completed cell notation right here. So that is going to be uh, able to tell you that um, number one, this is the anode over here. So this is the anode. Um, it's going to be zinc going from zinc solid to zinc 2 plus um, and then on the right is the cathode. So that's going to go from copper 2 plus to copper solid. So this is an example. It says write the chemical equation for and then here's the um, cell notation. So what we're going to try to do here is figure out what's happening with the anode, what's happening with the cathode, and can we construct an equation. So on the left we have the anode, on the right we have the cathode. So that means that this reaction that's going to happen is going to have iron, it's going to be iron 2 plus, and it's going to be going to iron 3 plus at the anode. So we are going to write that down. Now uh, one of the things that, that you notice here is that we don't have anything else on the left side. That's okay. We're going to add that in later. But um, we're going to do the same thing for the cathode. So the, the cathode is going to be silver going to, this is going to be silver plus, going to silver solid. And notice that when we did this, um, on the anode we have a comma as opposed to a single line. And so we don't have a phase boundary in that case because these are both aqueous. So um, that is pretty typical if you don't have a phase boundary um, just to use to use a comma. So basically what we're going to do now is we have our two equations um, for the anode and the cathode written out. What we're going to do is just sort of we're just sort of combine those. So we're going to put everything that's on the left side of the arrow together. So we're going to have iron 2 plus aqueous plus silver plus also aqueous. Then we're going to draw the arrow and we're going to put everything that's on the right hand side together. And so that's going to be iron 3 plus and silver solid. So this equation here is the actual chemical equation. Now, one other thing that you might see um, as you're doing problems involving cell notation is that you may see some examples where you would see something like this, aluminum, and then perhaps you would have a particular concentration of aluminum. And so in that case, sometimes what will happen is we'll put uh, the aqueous and then comma and then the concentration, so maybe it's 0.15 molar. So we'll write that there, and then we'll put the phase or the uh, the salt bridge, and then do the same thing for the cathode. So uh, this is a pretty common way to see it, um, just at, so you can represent the molarity of the solutions as well. So in this example here, that indicates that we've got aluminum solid and we've also got aluminum 3 plus that has a concentration of 0.15 molar. Um, on the cathode, we've got copper 2 plus at a concentration of 0.022 molar and we've got solid copper on, on the cathode as well. So this is something that you would, you would probably normally see, not necessarily when you first start out learning cell notation, but later on as we study uh, more in depth of um, electrochemistry and we start to learn about the Nernst equation, um, we'll need those concentrations. So um, that is a synopsis of the cell notation.